For today's video, we're going to use the trend line on a scatter plot to make a conjecture about a point that's not on the scatter plot. Uh, conjecture is an opinion or conclusion formed on the basis of incomplete information. So it's kind of like a hypothesis in science. We're going to use, it's, it's like an educated guess based on what we're given. So we're given this information here, but we want to figure out for when x is equal to 15, which would be out here. All right. How we're going to do that is by finding the linear equation of the line in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. If we recall, m is equal to the slope and b is equal to the y-intercept. Whenever we're given a line like this, we find slope by drawing a right triangle on the line. Now, this right triangle needs to go through two points that go through the same places on the line. So you can see at x equals 3 and x equals 6, we have... Uh, we have them both touch the line right there at the same spot. That's where we're going to create our right triangle. Now, if you remember, slope is rise over run. So we want the value that the, uh, the change in y over the change in x, excuse me. Be sure and be careful to pay attention to the scale here because though it only increases one grid, that grid is worth a value of 10. And then going to the right, it does increase three blocks, which it, that does go with the scale of each block is equal to three. So the slope here is 10 thirds. So y equals 10 thirds x plus our y-intercept of 110. Now that we have the equation slope-intercept form, it's as simple as plugging in our x value into our uh, x variable and then solving. So y equals... 10 thirds times 15 plus 110 because 15 is our x value. So y equals, well, we can simplify this. 3 goes into 15 5 times and it goes in there once. 10 times 5 is 50 plus 110. So y is equal to 160. So for this association, this relationship, this situation, Whenever x is equal to 15, we expect y to equal 160. Let's do this again. Now, if you notice the difference between the first graph and this graph, this has a negative slope. We need to pay attention to that because when we write down our slope, if it's not negative, we've obviously done something wrong. You can see it's going down from left to right. But we're going to follow the same steps y equals mx plus b, and we want to know what y is when x is equal to 75. First thing we need to do is find the slope. So we can see that as x is equal to 15 and x is equal to 30, they both go through that juncture point between x and y. So this time we're going down two blocks and to the right three blocks. You need to, again, pay attention to the scale. We go down two blocks, but that's a worth of value of 4. And we go to the right three blocks, which is worth a value of 15. So our slope is y equals, we went down, so it's negative 4. And we went to the right, 15 times x plus a y-intercept of 70. Now what we do is we plug in our x value into our x variable. y equals negative 4 over 15 times 75 plus 70. 15 goes into 75 five times. It's nice that it worked out like that on both of these. Now it goes in there five times, goes in there once. So y equals negative 20 plus 70. So y is equal to 50. So for x is equal to 75, we expect y to be equal to 50.